Hi guys, my name's Madison. Um, just wanted to start off the vlog with a little introduction. My name's Madison. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, you should click the subscribe button below. It feels so weird but saying that, but um, I this is my only my second vlog, so I'm really new at the whole YouTube thing. Um, I'm doing a 30 day like vlog challenge. I'm challenging myself <laughs> to 30 days of vlogging in a row. So if that's something that you're interested in or um, you like vlogs, you should totally subscribe because you're gonna get a bunch of content. Um, all right, so I'm just planning on vlogging my day again. Um, I'll probably be going grocery shopping. Um, I need to run to Whole Foods just to get some stuff. I'm gonna bake cookies later tonight. So, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. All right, so I think I fixed the lighting. I mean, it's a little, there we go. It was really bright there for a second. But we're headed into Whole Foods to pick up a few things. Um, I'm gonna bake cookies tonight. So I need to get like almond flour. And um, I look like really washed out, but I'm trying to figure out this lighting thing I, situation. I. Um, taught myself a few things and I think it worked but now it's like really bright it's either really dark or really bright and my eyes look so green yeah so there's a line I'm go we're going to Whole Foods um there's a line right now so that kind of sucks but it's the weekend so there's gonna be a line at every grocery store that's just the way it is and especially considering that it's Memorial Day weekend but um we're gonna run in. I'm not gonna bring you in because of like the whole situation that's going on. Um, we're gonna head in and then I'll show you what I get for the cookies. And then tonight I'll bake the cookies and I'll show you what I'm having for dinner and what we're doing. Um, but I'll see you guys later. All right, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to show you what we ended up getting at Whole Foods. It's really not much, but I think I filmed before I went in. I told you what I was gonna get. So we just really had to run in to get a few stuff for um, cookies. So we got some um, um, dark chocolate chips for the cookies, almond flour, um, baking powder, and we're gonna have um, grilled cheese. We'll have like vegan grilled cheese. Um, but we always get like sourdough for it. We get it fresh from Whole Foods and it just tastes really good. So it's 512 right now, so I'll probably eat in like two or three hours. Um so I'll show you what I'm making for dinner and um then I'll show you um the cookies. That's kind of the plan. So I'll show you We'll do like a little bake with me or something. I don't know. But um I'll show you the cookies. I'm excited. I haven't had like I haven't made desserts in a while. I was on like um a banana bread kick where I was making banana bread for like um a few weeks straight. Like every week I was making a banana bread and it was getting to the point where I was like, alright, I need to chill with the desserts. Um but I'm probably gonna honestly have to make banana bread again soon because our bananas are getting all like this is like honestly like another day or two. Um, it'll be perfect bananas for banana bread. Um, so I'll probably wind up making banana bread again and we could do that too. I have a really good recipe for banana bread that's super healthy. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna edit a few clips right now. I still do want to, um, do the 30 days of vlogging so I think that will be cool so in order for me to do that I have to stay on top of it and like continue to edit each clip or else it just like it winds up being like three hours of footage and I have to I get stuck like editing it and it's just crazy so um 
I'm gonna go edit real quick for a little bit and then you'll see me when I'm cooking dinner. All right, bye guys. So we ordered some Lebanese food for dinner. It's like my favorite. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> um, so what I do is I like make my own salad and I, hold on. So I take, what I order is just some falafels. They're so good. And then hummus. And then they make like the best rice. So what I do is I take the lettuce. Um, take some lettuce. And... I add it to the plate and then I take some waffle or two and then some hummus and I use like the hummus as the dressing instead of like just adding more like dressing and then it's just more calories. I look so red in the camera because I don't know I guess it's the lighting I don't know just I'm coming off really red but I swear I'm not that red and then what I do is I add some rice to it too I add some rice to it too and then it kind of looks gross I'm not gonna lie but it's really good <laughs> but it's really good <laughs> I'm not laughing at myself or talking to myself. My my boyfriend's eating the hummus. So yeah. But it kind of looks gross. I'll show you the <laughs> completed. It's not pretty. But it like gets you to eat a little bit of greens. And then the rice and then you have falafel. And then that's what I'll have for dinner. So we're gonna bake some cookies. So it's actually, my friend gave me this um, recipe. I was gonna make banana bread. I think I told you I was like on a banana bread kick earlier, but um, my friend gave me this recipe for cookies. So we're gonna make chocolate cookies. So if you could, can you see that? Can you see that? That's the recipe. Um, it's like vegan, um, non-dairy, the whole spiel. So it's pretty clean ingredients. Um, and all you need, it's like so simple, all you need is almond flour, baking soda, coconut oil, and maple syrup. Maple syrup. We don't have that one left. Um, maple syrup and um, chocolate chips. So it's really, really, really easy. So if you want to make it, this is all you need really easy I've never made it before but friend said it's good so we're gonna try it two cups of um so two cups of almond flour Um, so I do this weird thing where it's not weird, but you're definitely not supposed to do this. I just take the coconut oil and 
Mom, don't kill me if you're watching this. Um, and I turn on the stove and I just like put it on really low. I have like an electric stove and I just heat it up right on the stove in the thing. And it just makes it like easier. At your, I know you're definitely not supposed to do that, but it, it's just, it heats up quicker. I don't have a microwave. I've, I haven't had a microwave in like years. I didn't have one in college actually. So once I stopped having it, a microwave like I grew up with a microwave but once I stopped having one you just like you don't think it's like not necessary you know you realize that you really don't need one so I don't have a microwave or else that would be way faster so you need a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt well we only have um kosher salts all oh, because they're gonna come out okay definitely not a baker but we're gonna try it um what else one fourth teaspoon of baking soda okay you can see what i'm doing um, and then we need a coconut oil cup of maple syrup. So, so one fourth cup of maple syrup going in. A Mother's Day gift in the post office, and um, I mean like U.S. like U.S. Post Service or whatever. And you know the receipt that they give you it has a little tracking number. So I threw out the receipt with the tracking number on it, like an idiot. Is there a way to track the package? Because um, she still hasn't gotten the package, and. Um, I'm an idiot throughout the receipt and now I'm gonna have to like call them and try to figure out a way to find this stupid package and I'm just wondering if anyone knows of another way that um you can find package like can I call the post office and will they be able to give me any information on where the package is if it's missing I don't know I just feel like it should have been there by now if I sent it out I sent it out late though like I didn't send it out right on Mother's Day and on my daughter but um sent it out like last week but I sent it like I don't know not express but it definitely should be there by now like for sure that's pretty good I'll show you This is what it looks like, just the batter. I know I'm using a salad bowl as my mixing bowl. Clearly I don't have like efficient stuff for my kitchen, but you've only lived here for not that long, so that's kind of why. So we're still kind of figuring all it all out. And then it says add a cup of chocolate chip cookies. I'm using dark chocolate. I just prefer dark chocolate. I don't know what the recipe calls for. I think just chocolate chips. Probably semi-sweet. Okay. 
I get my hands all in it and let me wash my hands. And parchment paper. This this brand is so funny. Look at the name. If you care. That's the name of the brand. It's like a I guess it's like an environmentally friendly brand. I don't know, but it's so funny. Like, if you care. Like, bitch, you better care. Care about our planet. I think that's hilarious. I'm gonna put too many chocolate chips, honestly. Okay, one. Mmm. These are too big, honestly. <laughs> this is actually a really good recipe. I was just thinking, if you have kids, because they could eat the like um, the batter and not get sick because there's no eggs or anything in them. So I thought that was cool. I remember when I was a kid, we would always eat the batter right out of like the. What is it called? Like town, townhouse, town something. Like the big tub of uh, cookie um, batter you get at like Costco. I remember my mom used to get them. Me and my friends would just eat right out of the big tub. It's gross now that you think about it. completed and I, had a, I made a little one in the middle hopefully it don't get too big and I will show you them when they're done okay so the cookies are done and they look so good let me show you they look so good and I try I'm gonna let them cool but I tried the dough and um, Alexis if you're watching this um, that's my friend who gave me the recipe they're like amazing they're so so good they're so good so I'm gonna let them cool and then I'm gonna go watch um, me and my boyfriend are watching this new show it's called High Town. It's on Stars, and it's literally amazing. If you like, well, we're only one episode in, but if you liked the show Power, um, then you would really, really like the show. It's called High Town. It's um, on Stars, like I said before. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to finish off the vlog and say, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below um, if you enjoyed this video. And um, like I said before in my last video, I'm doing the 30 day challenge. So I'm gonna be vlogging for 30 days straight. I'm gonna just burn myself. So um, if you wanna keep uh, watching me, hit the subscribe button so you get the little, and the notification, I think there's a notification button. Sorry, I'm pointing my <laughs> um, a notification button so you know when I post so um, thanks for watching and I'm gonna put the recipe in the description below just because I don't know how good it showed on my um, camera from my little picture she sent me but um yeah so I'll see you tomorrow morning thanks for watching